welcome back so in now in this video we will just simply retrieve the data and show it right in here right in the search product screen in a beautiful list view manner okay so let's go ahead and start working on that so below the app bar we'll have the body in here and then we say stream builder in here as you guys can see the suggestion in here grid and last sign here and right in between we'll say query snap short and then with it again last sign greater sign in here we'll say map and again in here less and greater sign and then we say string type in here then comma and then we say dynamic okay and write it and braces now take this down from here in here provide the stream now we're about to create an instance right to the firebase fire store right to the collection of items okay so from there we will just get that so whenever the user will just search for a specific post it will be right in here okay so we'll say in here firebase fire store in here and then we say dot instance why it didn't sorry it's a cache and import the library there we go and then we say dot instance there we go dot i towards the collection of items as i told you guys the key name must be similar otherwise you will not get the data so make sure it must be same and then we say dot where simply get this down from here so that you guys can see it easily from here then from here now we have to provide the field and it's going to be simply item model the key name okay then we say comma if that is greater than or equal to the search query controller in here search query controller dot text so then we say dot text in here there we go dot trim all just fine and right after that we'll say dot where take this down from here you guys can see now in here you will just check the status as we upload it as approved so in here key name you guys know that and comma then we say if that equal to approve only in that case we will show that specific post of a user who will be online and then we should snapshot the data take this down from here all just fine you guys can see that so we create an instant and toward the firebase fire store toward the collection where the item model will be greater or equal to the search query control dot text that the user will enter okay if it's equal to that that the user will enter right in here or just greater than that only in that case and also with it we check the status as we uploaded right in the previous videos as approved we will check that if it's equal to that then only we will just get the required data now below that in here what we will do for the time saving we will just go we will go towards the profile screen dot dot here we are as you guys can see the body okay let me just show you it's a profile screen okay make sure and in here you guys can see that stream builder body what we will do in here we will just copy from this brace and go down 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 to here we will just copy that okay from here copy it go up and there you go with the other brace and with it also just copy that builder as you guys can see okay 
copy that let me just show one more time just don't get confused in that okay all just fine now simply control C and go towards the search product dot dot in here below the snapshot in here past it as you guys can see okay there we go with the snapshot and below that we just pass the code as you guys can see now in here click upon that list view widget and import library as you guys can see I have already explained this in detail so there is no need of doing it again it's just all the similar code so let us go ahead and all of the working has been done so what we will do you will just hot reload the app since we made a major change now we will go toward the search product screen click in here so we have to go now and just create the required index so open the run as you guys can see now go just up so you guys can see that in here the query required an index so you can create it here simply just what you will do right click on this URL and copy URL now go toward the browser and with it open the Firebase so here we are right in the Firebase OLX clone app okay now with it open the new tab and paste the URL that we copied and press enter so we are about to just create or update an index is okay so in here click save as you guys can see right in here the status is building so just wait for this status is building now it will just done right in a while wait for it so you guys can see index has been enabled now we will go back right to the app get this down or to load the app again and let's test it this time it will just work fine because the index has been created now just go to the search protect screen here we are these are the suggestion that showed us here for the users okay and also you can just search right in here I think we just didn't add the action let me just see we'll go up yep we just forgot to add the actions below this title so what we will do is go ahead and do that in here we'll say actions and we'll just call upon the method that we built before by the name build actions okay now call upon that right in here and all just fine now we have to how to load the app again this time we will just see go to where the search product screen and there we go you guys can see now click in here and boom it's working totally fine you guys can see that so let's go ahead and we will search for civic car okay that belong to Peter we are in home go to where the search and in here we'll say civic make this wrong right and you guys can see the suggestion right in here okay the civic car is right on the top you guys can see that okay full name in here and there we go now the civic car as you guys can see is right on the top it's recommended okay and all of the other report posts that showed us here is just down below so it's working fine and now if we go back to the home 
and search for we'll search for iPhone 14 Pro Max so let us go to where the search and here we say I there we go with the suggestion you guys can see okay so I just put right in the search field I and it just get that and you guys can see that specific post and you can also just write the full name in here and you guys will just notice it now let's search for bike for child okay in here just click upon and we'll say bike there we go with the suggestion or if you guys just search for civic again with it you guys can also see that recommended post show us right in here and it's working totally fine now we are left with a Rolex in here click then we say relax and there we go it's right on the top okay and it just show the suggestion required according to this text that we enter right in here in the search field so it's working totally fine the search product screen all done and also we done with the profile as you guys can see we are logged in by the Peter now and that the specific post that belongs to Peter only okay and you can simply edit this from here as we tested before and also you can just delete that specific post from here okay as we tested before it's working fine now we'll go back and just log out this specific user and guys remember that is a upload button and also if you guys want to upload another post from this specific user whose name is Peter you can go ahead and click upon that and upload the post but I will not upload by the Peter since we upload so many posts from this specific account we'll go and just log out this user and all of the working from inside the app is working totally fine now we'll just log out this specific user and let's go ahead and sign up a new account okay choose the profile you can crop it as you guys know already okay and we'll name this as a Zen email is gonna be Zen 438 at the right in here and then we say gmail.com provide that Zen 438 now provide the phone number okay and we'll choose the password for that the password gonna be something like from one to nine and then we say Zen you guys can see that visibility off sign up wait for a while there we go so now we are successfully logged in and we will go towards the upload ad screen simply just add the post from the Zen account okay so this time let me just choose something different okay we'll go with the shoes scroll down this time choose that one this time we'll go with this one this time we'll go with that one and the last one that we will choose it's gonna be that one okay five images now click next item price gonna be something like thousand dollar and item name is long boots color is black description is gonna be something like man long boots 
var something like that okay you can just go wherever you want and also we'll just try with it for thousand dollar okay now just upload wait for a while data added successful and there we go with the post by Zane you guys can see that long boots there we go with the profile date and everything time so double tap on that cover image and there we go with the image slider screen you guys can see that long boots there we go with the images address for that specific current user whose name is Zane there we go with the price number color description and you can also just go ahead and check the seller location as you tested before it's working totally fine okay right in the previous videos so basically that's it for this video and all of the working for that specific app has been completed successfully so that's it for this app and we tested everything and it's working totally fine so profile screen in here there we go with the specific post that we just added while ago from Zane and you can also just go ahead and search for that in the search screen the item name was long boots so in here long there we go with the suggestion as you guys can see okay it's right on top okay you can edit delete that specific post that belongs to Zane not the other one post belongs to Peter only and you can just double tap on the cover right in the search screen it will just get you right toward the image slider screen as you guys can see right in here okay also from the search product screen so working totally fine we just check that search product screen also the profile screen and home screen also the upload screen all of the screen has been completed successfully and it's working totally fine so basically that's it for this app and we just log out the users and the sign up screen you guys know about it in case if you just forget the password go towards the forget password screen and in here just enter your mail it will just send you the result link as we tested that right in the previous videos so we will go back and now we will go towards the sign in screen in here that's the login okay so simply you can just go ahead and log in the user as we just created this Zen we'll just test it right in here Zen 438 adweargmail.com and the password was from 1 to 9 and it was Zen visibility off take this down login there we go we are successfully login by the Zen profile screen there we go okay so basically that's it for this app and all of the working has been done successfully so good luck with this app and we will close that file from here go towards the mentor dot olex clone app all of the working has been completed successfully so good luck with this app